Hey, it's Alex the Boat Guy. We're down here on the docks today checking out this 1983 CS36. Today we're looking at a 1983 CS36. The hull has been painted. She's got an updated windlass there, anchor windlass, 3 8 chain. A 15 kilo plow anchor, Bruce anchor. Uh, Kiwi grip decks. Uh, the CS's were built in Branton, Ontario. Great reputation as a great sailboat, well built, a solid glass hull and lead keels. And this particular one has a 6,200 pound lead keel, which gives her, I believe, over 40% ballast to weight ratio, possibly up to 44%. Reverse transom stern, IOR style. Two speed winches, running rigging led aft. Running rigging is ready for replacement. As well, the sails on this boat, most likely ready for replacement. But the basic boat here is solid. And one of the things that CS prides themselves on is the fact that there is no wood on the exterior. French made hatches, best equipment at the time. Stainless steel and aluminum on the exterior. Stainless rigging, aluminum stanchions. Here's a close look at this windlass. Roller reefing headsail. Taking a walk down now on the port side. Four opening port lights per side. Lines led aft here with these cam locks. Both port and starboard side. Convenient access from the cockpit. Lumar 46 for the primary winches. Self tailing and two speed. Very decent sized cockpit, T-shaped. Comfortable molded fiberglass. Taking a look at the Raymarine touchscreen GPS there. Depth gauge, speed gauge, auto helm, wind gauge. Although I'm told that the wind speed and direction is not functioning, but the auto helm does. Large deep cockpit locker there, port side. Includes a spare anchor and road. There's a propane barbecue. Stepping down below the CS36. Traditional layout uh, in the CS36, a chart table and quarter berth on the starboard side here. Engine is located behind the staircase. Interesting little locker built in there. Engine is a four cylinder Westerbeek with freshwater cooling. And in this case, it's a V drive. So we're actually looking at the back end of the engine 
Uh, you do have access to the transmission, shift cables, raw water strainer, the heat exchanger manifold, the Raycor filter. It's a little bit more of a challenge to get to the, uh, which in this case is the forward end of the engine facing aft. There are removable side panels there in both the rope locker as well as the lazarette. What's really nice too though on a boat is extra drawers. So there's three decent drawers here right in the side of the chart table. Looks like spare parts, kitchenware, and more kitchenware. Behind the chart table you have the quarter berth which is primarily at this point used for storage. I have all the lines in here and spare parts that go with the boat. Main salon, settee, starboard side, full length does convert to a double berth. The table and the entire bed arrangement folds away. Port side aft, you have a very well appointed galley for a 36 footer with a combination fridge freezer. What's great here on this boat is this entire counter area here is a combination of fridge freezer. This is the refrigeration side. This boat can definitely take you on some extended cruises. Bring an extra bottle of propane and you have three burner oven and cooktop. Very clean. The fridge freezer, hot cold pressure water, storage and numerous lockers here. Pretty deep. Locker, pots and pans, storage there for the back. Hot and cold pressure water. The hot water tank would operate either from engine or shore power as well. There's a hand pump here if you don't have any power for whatever reason. Nice little extra lockers here. And there's the tubing for the diesel furnace, which is plumbed throughout the entire boat. Solid fiberglass hull, balsa cord decks. Now the water tankage. Huge water tank under this berth here on port. Same goes for the water tank on starboard. Very large tank under there. So that space is primarily taken up with water tanks. There is some storage under this forward end here. And then you have your lockers and cupboards. Moving forward now in the CS36. Comes with a set of binoculars right there. Plotting handbook. Heading into the forward cabin on the CS36, you have hanging locker on port there. Straight ahead is the V berth bow cabin, main cabin. And on starboard side is the head. All the sanitary hoses have been changed on this boat. So that's a nice bonus. Pull out sink faucet shower, which then drains down into the floor, and there is a separate pump for that. Jabsco manual toilet, and from experience, there's lots of storage in these cabinets here. Taking a look right up in the bow, the V berth, it's at least a queen at the aft end here. Some storage lockers down below. There are 
lockers under each end of the mattresses here. Although not the simplest to reach, but I can tell you from experience that they're there. And then there's the forward storage lockers up, up there with the rattan. A really decent hatch, lots of natural light. And then you have these little storage cubbies on either side with your own LED reading lights. Forward cabin in the CS36, you have a separate little hanging locker here. As well, you have these very nicely made solid wood drawers. This is actually Canadian ash, being a Canadian built boat in Brampton, Ontario. With teak trim, this would be a veneer plywood, teak plywood with a solid, solid edge or veneer edge. But all the nosings, moldings in this boat are solid teak. That is a nice feature. And I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the CS36. Uh, overall, I think it's a great boat, um, great sailing characteristics. Um, main sails, a little older, have to admit, um, but there's a lot of good boat here, um, with being solid fiberglass, balsa cord decks, and teak interior. Um, pretty good storage options, uh, a diesel engine, uh, there is no dinghy and no dodger. So those are maybe a couple of items that may be of concern. But overall, uh, great sailing characteristics, solid boat, um, well looked after. Uh, includes the chart plotter, uh, spare anchor, the three spare headsails or um, spinnakers, light air sails. Uh, the fridge freezer option is a really nice option, as well as a two burner propane stove. And plenty of water and fuel aboard for cruising, so check it out.